There are two most important things to talk about. So without any further ado, let's start the video. On September 20, Huawei hosted the Connect 2024 conference, where Huawei's rotating chairman made two statements that were truly impactable and incredibly inspiring to me. Firstly, Huawei's rotating chairman said that the US ban actually helped Huawei achieve self-reliance, which is indeed a sensible observation. Well, he said that the US won't remove its sanctions on China and Huawei for a long time due to so-called security concerns, well this would surely impact the chip manufacturing tech in the region as it is also bound by the tough restrictions. But Huawei sees these challenges as both possibilities and opportunities. The US ban is basically helping Huawei to slowly become self-reliant in the chip and AI tech. Well, that is true. Huawei took the ban as a challenge and embraced it as an opportunity and that is why today, Huawei is self-reliant and is no longer dependent on the US technology. At the same time, Huawei struggled a lot and it is still going through a lot of challenges but they have overcome many obstacles by now. But the point is that, if the US hadn't banned Huawei at that time and if Huawei hadn't realized that it could be destroyed by this ban, it wouldn't have worked so hard to reach the stage where it is today. So that point was indeed true. Secondly, Huawei made a very bold statement about Horny OS Next program. As you all know, Huawei is about to launch its own operating system called as Huawei Horny OS Next, which is also a massive achievement for the brand. And due to that, Huawei stated that the Huawei Horny OS has achieved in one year what Android and Apple OS took 17 years to accomplish. Yes, I know this is quite a bold statement, but there is some truth to Huawei's claim. Because in one year, Huawei's Harmony OS is running on over 900 million devices and over 6.75 million developers are working on the Harmony OS ecosystem. Furthermore, over 1000 plus partners have also joined Harmony OS ecosystem and its app count also exceeds 10,000 which is a very, very big achievement for the brand. So if we conclude everything all together, the success rate of the Huawei's Harmony OS is much faster than Android and iOS specifically. If we consider the time, the Harmony OS is much newer than Android and iOS, therefore definitely Harmony OS is winner here. That is why Huawei stated that Harmony OS achieved 17 years of Android's progress in one year. What do you think about this bold statement of Huawei? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.